Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with key phrase action under Microsoft text analytics actions. Let me drag and drop this key phrase action onto the workspace. Key phrase action extracts or identify the main concepts in the given text by using text analytics API. The text analytics API returns a list of strings denoting the key phrases in the given input text. For an example, I'm having an input text that is the food was delicious and there were wonderful staff. In the given input, key phrase action will return the main talking points such as food and wonderful staff. All right, if you see on my screen, I'm having key phrase action, which we are going to talk about the input parameters. The first input parameter is the server location. Now, the server location, which we are going to get it from the text analytics API. Now, I have already created a text analytics API with the name of PAD hyphen text analytics API by using portal.azure.com. From there, if you go for the keys and endpoint, if you click on that, I'm having key one and key two and the location or region. If you see the server location, which is in East US, and the subscription key, either you can take it key one or key two. Now I'm going to copy one of the key from this Power Automate Desktop Text Analytics API. Now I'm going to provide the same details over here in the key phrase action. The first one is the server location. I'm going to provide it as East US. And the subscription key, I'm going to give it over here, which I have just copied from the Text Analytics API. Now, as a third parameter, I need to provide the text over here, the input text, which we are going to talk about, which we are going to get the key phrases from that particular input. I'm going to give it the input text as the food was delicious and there were wonderful stuff. This is my input text for the key phrases. Now, if you're coming for the fourth parameter, that is long ways. The default long ways for the default long ways is English. All right, now if you go for the advanced parameters, there you are having the timeout where you are having default as 30 seconds, which is the time between the connectivity to Power Automate Desktop as well as Text Analytics API. All right, now we are having variable produce at the output parameters. First one is the JSON response, another one is the status code. JSON is a JavaScript object notation, is a standard text-based format for representing structured data. Whereas status code 200 will give as a successful process to the request, whereas 400 is a bad request and response, which indicates that the server cannot or will not process the request. All right, now let's click on save. Now if you see over here, I'm having flow variables as JSON response. Another one is the status code. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and it has successfully given the output in the JSON format by connecting to the text analytics API through subscription key. All right, now we'll see the output over here in the JSON response. Now if you see over here in the JSON response, I'm having documents and the errors are zero. Now if you click on more over here and I'm having the items of zero once again, there you can see I'm having ID and the key phrases over here. The key phrases having the talking points about the input text. All right, now let's click on more. There you can see I'm having list of text values. First one is wonderful stuff. Another one is the food. All right, these are the key phrases from the given input. All right, now let's click on close. Now, how can I display the output from the given JSON response? I'm going to use for each action. Let me drag and drop this for each action onto the workspace. Now I'm going to value to iterate. What is the value inside the JSON response? I'm having documents inside that I'm having key phrases. Now, if you see, I'm having JSON response of documents of zero inside that I'm having key phrases. What are the values are there inside the JSON response in the key phrases going through the loop by using for each action. And then each and every item I'm going to store in the current item. All right, now let's click on save. Now, 
to display the value in the current item which we got it from the response of the json in the key phrases i'm going to use display message over here inside the for each action and i'm going to give the title as key phrase and then what is the message to display over here what are the value that we have in the current item i'm going to select that value to display over here all right now let's click on save once again let's save the flow by clicking on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started and then by using this key phrase action it will try to get the key phrases of the given input by using key phrase action and there if you see the key phrase the first item in the key phrase is wonderful stuff right now let's click on ok and the second value in the key phrase is food these are all the key phrase values which we are going to get it by using key phrase action. I hope you understand how to work with key phrase action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.